Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, welcome back to video number three of my keys. And continuing from uh, where we last left off of the Guardian stuff, I got Where Monsters Dwell number six. Um, this right here is actually a reprint of Tales to Astonish 13, which is Groot's first appearance. Uh, yeah, I actually highly recommend getting this book. Um, this even as a, for a reprint, this book on eBay right now, depending on grade, I mean they're going for between thirty to sixty bucks. So yeah, definitely highly recommend getting that if you can't get Tales of Sound Thirteen. <clears throat> Next one is Avengers number twenty eight. Now you're probably wondering, well, what does this have to do with Guardians? Um, well, maybe I think <clears throat> about a month ago. Yeah, about a month ago, uh, comicbookmovie.com um, basically confirmed that a character called the Collector is going to be like one of the main characters in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Um, he's one of the elders of the universe in the story, and he basically foresees the coming of Thanos, so that's his part in it. And his first appearance is in this book right here. So, yeah, I think this book is under the radar. People don't really know about it. So I suggest getting it while you can. Not only that, it's also a uh, first appearance of basically Hank Pym when he changes his name from Giant Man to Goliath. So, yeah, you get a two-for-one with this book. And it's cheap. Pretty good for a Silver Age book. Marvel Spotlight, number six, volume two. Um, now, this is the first appearance of Star-Lord in an actual comic book form. His first appearance is in Marvel Preview 4, and then he's been in, you know, quite a few magazines. But this is his first appearance, like, actually in a comic book. So, I actually highly recommend picking this book up right here. Uh, like... I think it's kind of like under the radar right now. I don't think a lot of people know about it because they're all going after Marvel Preview 4. But this is kind of along the same lines of uh, the Hulk 271 with uh, Rocket Raccoon. So definitely pick this book up. Iron Man number 12. Uh, this is the first um, appearance of the controller who is supposed to be Thanos' right hand man. Um, in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy movie. So, another book to look out for. <clears throat> Marvel Presents, number three. This is the first solo story with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Spawn, number nine. Uh, yeah, this book is kind of hot right now with the buzz of Angela being in a Marvel Universe. Um, this is her first appearance. Um, I have two copies of this. Um, one is, uh, it's got a lot of black on the, on the white, but this one's like perfect. There's absolutely no flaw in it. Um, but watching, uh, a Hero Hunter 81 video, um... I'm kind of on the lookout now for a newsstand edition. I think that's where it's at, actually. So, yeah, eventually I'm going to get a newsstand edition of this. But I mean, I'm glad I have it. It's in great shape. So, Strange Tales, number 178. Um, this is the first appearance of Magus, um, who is the main villain in the Infinity War. He's uh, Adam Warlock's uh, evil side. Dark Avengers, number one. This is the first appearance of the Iron Patriot. Thor, 344. First appearance of Malekith. Who's going to be the Dark Elf, uh, the villain in the next Thor movie. And also, I recommend picking these up right here. Um, this one right here, number Thor, 347. Is the first appearance of a dark elf. His name is uh, Algrim. And right here in Secret Wars 2, number 4, he becomes a uh, curse. Beyonder turns him into it. 
Um, yeah, he's also supposed to be in the movie, too. Um, I think more people are going after 344 and kind of ignoring these, but definitely be on the lookout for those two. Captain America, number six. This is the Winter Soldier variant. Um, on first appearance of Winter Soldier, this is definitely a book to get with the Captain America movie coming out. Plus this one right here, Captain America 360, which is the first appearance of Crossbones, who's also going to be in the movie. <clears throat> now this book right here, um, I don't understand why it's not worth more than what it should be. Um, okay, this the first appearance of Ultimate Nick Fury is an, is actually in a, an Ultimate Team Up number five, but they drew him completely different in that book. This book right here is actually uh, the the first appearance of of basically the Sam Jackson Nick Fury. Uh, this is where they did his character redesign and they made him look like Samuel Jackson. So. Yeah, I mean, I still recommend picking this up because he's all over the movies. And, in, of course, the S.H.I.E.L.D. show coming out and stuff. Marvel premiere number 47. Another book I highly recommend picking up now. It's starting to starting to pick up. <clears throat> starting to get hot. Uh, this is the first appearance of Scott Lang as Ant-Man. Ultimate Spider-Man number one, the DF variant. Yeah, uh, yeah, I love this book. Um, I got a, a still on this. And we got the certificate of authenticity there. It's in beautiful shape. Definitely want to grade this. Glad I have it. New Mutants 98. First appearance of Gideon and Domino. So, oh wait. And, and that guy right there, Deadpool. <laughs> Actually, I think a lot of people forget it's Gideon and Domino's first appearance. It's mainly about that guy right here. But, yeah, I'm glad I got this. I've had this book for forever. Amazing Spider-Man 300, first appearance of Venom. <laughs> what else can I say? Everybody should have that book. Iron Fist number 14, first appearance of Sabretooth. Another book I'm so glad I own this. It's in beautiful shape. Mm. I mean, I, I'd have to say very fine plus, definitely. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with it, really. Beautiful shape. Okay, um, you know what? I'm going to cut it here. That was pretty much all my Marvel stuff. Um, I'm going to do another vid now. Um, showing all my DC stuff, kind of kept them separate. So thanks for watching guys. And I'll be back with my DC keys.